Okay, well, you can see where I started splitting that. And it's kind of neat because if I hold this up, okay, you can kind of see where that dips a little bit, right? And that that's okay, but what's neat about it is look at the grain, you see? So I split this in such a way that I lined this log up just so. So when I put a little pressure on that ram from that splitter, it wanted to follow the grain. In fact, this thing broke prematurely. It split right down the grain without much pressure. And that's really important because you want this grain on, on a stick, just like a wing spar, you want the grain to, to be the same from one end to the other. Now, this is gonna sound a little corny, but I counted out the rings and right about here is where I met my wife. Now, the neat thing about building an airplane is you can do things like that. Airplanes are kind of a sentimental thing. And you know, that that's what makes airplanes kind of unique. We live in such a wonderful world where we're able to build stuff like this. And if you make an airplane your own, you kind of do things like that, you know? Um, you know, I, I, we were, man, the last 20 some videos, we were talking about the fuselage. And I know this is kind of a departure from the fuselage, but you know, airplanes are all about working around things and you have to work around chores and family and things and you don't build airplanes full time, you know. Uh, <laughs> however, you you surely can think of airplanes full time. <laughs> Most of us uh, people who build airplanes tend to think of this stuff 24-7. So as I'm splitting wood, these are the things I'm kind of thinking of. Like, wow, you know, could I use that? And I have some other ideas I've been drumming up and... Uh, I also took a break from the fuselage because I hit kind of a little trouble spot uh, and I'm just trying to think things through. Um, and th that kind of happens. You know, in the real world, airplanes just don't go together like magic. You have little trouble spots. There's a couple things I, I maybe should have built on that fuselage jig that I didn't and, and I'm kind of thinking that through. And, you know, the one thing you want to get in the habit of is if you have an issue with your building, stop. There's no law that says you got to keep going. Just stop what you're doing. Just like if you're welding and, and you're feeling like you know, that weld isn't quite working out, just stop the torch. Just walk away. And that's what I did last night. I just sort of walked away. And it was just a little frustrating. I had a couple issues. And uh, I need to square those away. So as I'm splitting log and working up a sweat, uh, I'm kind of rejuvenating myself and getting back into the home building mode. So this stick is going to be cool, and I hope I can use it. I hope it's not too heavy. Uh, I'm going to plan on not using it, and then it, when I get to the end, if I'm underweight, I'll use it. 